Good morning, my hearties. Dinky do. Just doing a little bit of adjustment here. Uh, just for you. Lovely to have you with us and a very, very warm welcome. You're watching Scotty McClure, of course, and we're live on the big one. Welcome, welcome. Good to have you with us Saturday morning. Just a quick pop up, mainly as a reminder that we will be popping up tonight. And I think that's very important at nine o'clock on the YouTube channel. So make sure you join us there, I say. And tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 about Scotty McClure that we are live just for you. Fantastic stuff. Now then, you'll just see me at the bottom of the screen this morning because we're trying out something else. So it might work. It might not. Um, I'll bring that forward and see if we can do a little bit more about it. And you could tell me, how's that? Does that look better? There we go. Fantastic. Yeah. You've got to try these things, haven't you? Otherwise, nothing actually happens if people don't try things out. Good morning. A dinky do. DJ Mac. Good morning to you. Morning, Scotty. In this lovely, beautiful day, how are you? It's quite wild, isn't it? You know, a, a bit more wind during the night. Not personally, of course, but, uh, but outside the windows. Absolutely. And uh, good morning, everybody. Lovely to have you with us. Good morning, Robert. What a privilege. Robert, you're a great person. You know, you're a terrific man. I mean, you were with us last night in the pop-up, and here you are with us this morning. Good morning, Scotty. Uh, I was playing football all day, says Mem. Excellent, Mem. Yes, the football was on last night when we popped up, and somebody said, are you not watching the football? And I said, well, yes, um, I'm not watching the football. You're quite right. But there's so much media. I think football should be confined to a Saturday afternoon once COVID's all finished, either at the game live or televised. And that should be it for the week. We should not be having football every night of the week. Otherwise, it dumbs down our life. Tonight we'll be discussing, should we have the prefix, should we ask the Queen in her 70th year of her reign to put Royal before Celtic and Rangers, so it would become the Royal Celtic Football Club and the Royal Rangers Football Club. Good day from Liverpool. We love you in Liverpool, Billy. Do you do? I'm going to have to come back down to Liverpool and sort you all out. There's no doubt about it. I love the bones of you guys. Scotty, a wet, moist weekend ahead. What a start to the month, Kareem. Absolutely, 100%. How's the picture looking today, guys? Can we have a little bit of feedback? We're trying a couple of things out just to get the heights right. Uh, now then. Uh, are you watching the rugby today, fella? Yes, I will watch the rugby because, as you know, I'm a great rugby man. So I'll have a wee look at that. Fantastic. While having afternoon tea. Hiya from Grimsby. We love Grimsby. Do you know the Clee Road? I had a very dear friend lived in the Clee Road. There we are at uh, uh, just outside Grimsby. Is that right? Um, between Grimsby and Clee Thorpes. Oh, I liked Cleethorpes. I remember walking the dog on the beach at Cleethorpes and a guy came down in one of these Argo cats and he said, right, sir, if you don't mind, you want to go back up the beach now? I said, well, I was going to just walk along. He went, no, 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 you're going back up the beach. And uh, he said, the tide's coming in. And I said, does it come in pretty fast then? And he looked down, he said, do you see the water round my wheels? I said, yes. He said, that was dry when I pulled up to talk to you. So that was seconds. So I thought, right, come on, Reese. We are going back up the up the beach very, very quickly. Guys, there's a deluded trooper. Deluded trooper, good morning. How lovely to have you with us. I'm quite sure you're not deluded at all. Dull. There we are. Follow us as soon as you can, guys. Very, very important we get the followers on here. First thing in the morning. Hi from Cyprus. Ah, Mikhail or Michael. Mikhail or Michael. Lovely to have you with us from Cyprus. What a fine part of the world. Do you think Cyprus will ever come to a full agreement about what a, a Cypriot actually is? <laughs> We'll have to see. We need to 
stop conflict around the world. We need to put a stop to conflict. I think that's the most important thing. Um, when are you coming to Bara? Uh, DJ Mac, yes. And did you say happy birthday? No. Now, DJ Mac, I might have to ban you for that, uh, to be honest. In fact, I will have to ban you. What a shame, DJ Mac. You just didn't know the rules. So there we are. I'll, I'll tell you what I'll do with you. I'm going to put you in time out. But remember, you never try anything like that with Scotty McClue. That's an insult to me. It's very, very disrespectful to all people in the world. So there we are. So we would never do that, I said. So that's DJ Mac timed out. He's in time out at the moment. I haven't given him a lifetime ban because he maybe didn't understand the rules. There we are. Some people don't, and uh, once they've been explained, uh, you know, once the rules have been explained, they get their act together and could stay with us. Scotty, I missed your space last night. Wonky pint. You missed a fabulous space. Guys, this is to put you in the picture. You know, McClue's a great experimenter with uh, social media. And I have a Twitter account. There's not many followers on it. Four and a half thousand or four thousand, I think it's four thousand followers. So if you want to follow me on Twitter at Scotty McClue, please do so. Let's start things moving forward a bit. And um, there's four thousand people on Twitter. So I tried out one of the spaces. Now, Wonky Pint knows exactly what I'm talking about here. You click and you start a space. And I had my little headphones in and you just talk away and people come and join you. And I've only done two. Uh, one, Wonky Pint knows about, is that about six months ago, Wonky Pint? Four months ago, something like that. We did a space on Twitter. And I did one last night to discuss the cyclists. And um, it was terrific. And a lovely, lovely guy, Jim, came and joined me from Glasgow, a Glaswegian. And boy, was he interesting. So there we are. So that was the space. But I don't know when the best time to do a space is. The last one, Wonky Pint, we did at Saturday lunchtime. This one I did at nine o'clock last night, but it was tremendous. There we are. Just amazing. I love all these different things for different platforms for McClue. Uh, now, who have we got here? How are you, says James. Hi, James. Lovely to have you with us, James McDonald there. Very nice of you to come and join us. Now, there's El Donzo. Now, El Donzo should be El Dumo. He doesn't understand it at all, El Donzo. So what we'll do with El Donzo is just send him straight down the swanee. El Donzo is having a lifetime ban. Poor thing, just for being a complete idiot. There he goes. We love it. Right, Eldon's is away down the Swanee, guys. Just doesn't have the idea at all. It's James from Barra. Hello, how are you, Dinky Do? There we are. Well, we've just had to get rid DJs in time out for being very, very silly. And uh, that's what's happened there, guys. Uh, where in Scotland are you from? I'm from all of Scotland. Uh, all over Scotland, yes, I am Mr. Scotland. That's what it's about. But the West Coast, every time you clear out your clothes, you do not realize you have so many pair of socks. Robert Scrimger, do you know these big bags you get in the supermarket? I'm not talking the bag for life. I'm talking the big one with the webbing handles. I've got one of those filled with socks waiting as a project to be done. I won't tell you how long it's been waiting. And I'm going to have to sit, just put on a movie or something, and pair up socks. And you don't realize, because you do things, socks aren't sold singly nowadays. Well, they were never sold singly. They were sold in pairs. <laughs> See what I just did there? But, uh, you know, they're, they're uh, sold in, like, pairs of six. Um, well, the ones I buy are, you know, they're not the most expensive, but they're sold in business. You see, I used to have relatives that hand-knitted me socks. How beautiful was that? Auntie Katie used to hand-knit socks, and you got them for your Christmas or your birthday. 
And you open the envelope, you go, oh! And your mother said, what's that? It's a socks from Auntie Katie. Aren't they lovely? And that was you. That was you. Oh, they're still lasting. And when Auntie Katie was living, she was born in 1910, a wonderful lady. And when Auntie Katie was living, she would uh, come and visit and she would darn the socks a few years later. She still seemed to keep in her kit a wee bit of wool from the socks. <laughs> Every time, uh, yes, absolutely, Robert, you've got a very good point there. How many pubs do you have? I don't own pubs, Callum. I don't drink alcohol. I've missed seeing you, Scotty. I hope you're well. Ah, we misses woman. How lovely to have you with us and a big dinky do. I'm from not so sunny Port Glasgow. No, call Rob. It will not be sunny in the port today. But people don't realize, especially people who live in the port, <coughs> just what a beautiful, beautiful place it is. And I notice there's new houses being built up the top of the road there. And the view is stunning. I remember paying a visit to somebody in the port and I looked out the window and I could see right down the Clyde. From up the Bogle Stone, there we are. Fantastic stuff. Uh, share the live, guys, and follow me. Tap, 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 tap. Can we get more and more followers all the time? Because McClue is huge on TikTok. And you might think, ah, no, I'm not following. That's very silly. I'm not going anywhere. We'll be here for a long time. And I'm doing you so many beautiful, beautiful TikTok videos. And you'll see them on YouTube as well, guys. Very important. Uh, now, who have we got here? Uh, Dinky Doo Scotty and Carlo or Charlo. Dinky Doo. Do calls, says Callum. I might do a call, Callum. Uh, I must say, you have a fine shot and hat on today, Scotty. Do you like it? This is my um, my sporting my sporting T-shirt. I thought I would just pop on for you all today. Uh, there we are. Never, uh, never a dull moment in the world of McClue. I went to Boglestone Primary School. The view was great. My old house could see up and down the Clyde too. And I seem to remember, was there not wonderful views from the old high school? And things like that. Just, just beautiful. What was the terrace up the back with the posh hooses? Uh, Lily Bank. Lily Bank, is that right? Do you remember Lily Bank? Fantastic stuff. What time? At nine o'clock tonight, Callum, you'll get live lines. I mean, I suppose we could try and open the phones uh, just as a special favor. Shall we do that? Shall we take a call? There we go. And uh, now, who have we got here? Wonderful. If you're on the YouTube, please make sure that you have given us a thumbs up. Let us know that you're there. Here's somebody calling right now. Let's just see who this is. That's incredible. We like that. We'll just see if we've got uh, and a bit of volume. Fantastic. Right. Okay. The lines should be open if somebody wants to give us a call. Uh, fantastic. Scotty, do you still stay in Scotland? I hope you have a wonderful weekend. Well, I've moved all around the UK because we were on big radio stations and TV stations. And uh, therefore, I've, I've lived all around the UK. But I've returned to Scotland pro tem. Pro tem for the time being. I always wear weird socks, all crazy colours, never a pair. Well, we, Mrs. Woman, there's nothing wrong with opening the drawer and taking out two. <laughs> nothing wrong with that at all. Uh, so there we go. Right, guys, you should be able to have access now to the telephones. And, uh, and give us a wee call. We'll take your call. Fantastic. Lily Bank, my dad grew up there as a boy. Wow. Incredible. Just amazing, isn't it? The things that you come up with. Saturday morning, guys, if you've just joined us, never scroll and never troll. You're watching Scotty McClue. Wonderful. I seem to have missed a call there, guys. I wonder why. That's a bit strange, isn't it? Maybe missed a call. Right, try it again. So we'll see if we can get you on. There we are. That should work. <coughs> ah, there you are, you see. 
You're live in Scotty's phone in. Who is that? Hello, Scotty. It's Carl. Carl, I'm coming to you. How are you? I've come up for the Ah, Fauci, Fauci. Uh, how are we? Not bad. Not bad. I had to. I had to put one of the boys in time out there because he was trying to get smart with me. Who was that? I uh, I don't know which one it was. DJ. Well, we'll not say we'll not say who it is, you know, but he's in timeout because he'll get the idea. So what I did, Callum, I didn't give him a lifetime ban. Yeah. I thought that was good of me, you know what I mean? Because he's just learning the ropes. Yeah. <laughs> What's happening in Barra today? How's your weather, Callum? Uh, I'll leave it with you. Uh, a wee bit, yeah, but you see, you're very brave in Mara because you say a wee bit windy, you say, ah, it's quite fresh the day when you get blown off your feet. Yeah. <laughs> because, as you know, if you live somewhere, you've still got to go about your business. And if you're yeah. going down to the shops, there's no point in saying, oh, you couldn't have put your nose out the door of the day. You say, right, I'm away at the shops. And you just, you, you'll just have to get blown about by the wind. You say, whoo, it's fresh out there the day. <laughs> Callum, that's lovely to hear you and love to everybody in Barra. Yeah. Someday a twin otter's yeah. going to land on the beach and McClue will get out. Yeah. And I'll walk up to the town and see y'all. Yeah, I'll see what's up there. Oh, pitch. That's what that is. That where the plane lands now, beside the football pitch, or are you all up no, there? We, no, it's like the plane lands on the other side of the island. On the beach. On the beach. Aye. Yeah. And so, uh, and is that and then you'd walk up to the football pitch. No, because like thirty miles. Oh. Yeah. Oh, for goodness' yeah, sake. So what happens then? Do you get a wee bus in from the airport? Or a taxi. A taxi in. Right, right. That's a, that's a good one. Excellent. So you get a taxi in to Castle Bay. Yeah. I didn't realise. You'll have to excuse my ignorance. I didn't realise you were so far out. I thought you landed in the beach and then you could just walk up to the, to the town. No. No. Oh. I'm learning, Callum. This is great. You every day is a school day on here. Yeah. Fantastic. Listen, you take care, my heart, and we'll catch up later tonight. Yeah. Regards to all the guys and and pull up DJ. You say to him, DJ, you need to behave, mm. or he'll cut us all off. <laughs> Dinky do. Thank you, dude. Bye, 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 bye. Have a good day, Callum. Bye, James. Absolutely. There we are. That's Callum from the island of Barra. Isn't that fantastic? Uh, no, the pair match. I just don't have two pairs the same. All right, I've got you. We'll see who this is. Good morning. You're live on Scotty's phone. Who's that? Hello, oh, Scotty. It's Martin. How are you? Martin, my boy. How are you? Are you surviving the weather okay? Yes, I am surviving the weather. Okay, it's very, very windy. It's, it's very, very windy the day, Martin. It's. I was surprised when the wind got up in the night. Yes, I know. I got up for another reason, and uh, it wasn't just wind. And uh, I had a look out the window. I thought, for goodness sake. Uh-huh. You know? <laughs> it was wild. So it's a day to stay in and watch Take the High Road on the STV player. Uh-huh. I've um, got a lot of them. Um, I've done about, um, I'm on 19, I've done about, I want, um, I'm on, I'm almost in 1987. So as, um, as long as each season goes in, the tune gets quite stronger. They the changed time. the tune, yes. It was a, a wonderful man called Arthur Blake that uh, did all the composing and stuff. And he was STV's head of music. Uh, and then each series, they, they altered it a bit. 
I, but it's the same da 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 da. You why, know? Why did you change it to um, High Road? Yes, they did change. Well, I'll tell you what. One of the things I don't know exactly. I would need to speak to them about it. But Take the High Road was obviously the the, the original title. And then wow. they started marketing it round the network because ITV was a network of fifteen companies, wow. and we what we used to do was make sure that we um, got the timings exactly the same, so there would be a hot phone between the stations, and they would do a roll call of the stations called the red phone. And it had a different tone as well. It went, do, 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 do. We used to shout, red phone. And the controllers uh -huh. would answer it, and they would um, answer their station. They would run through the station. So you would have the head of presentation in Thames Television in London. And he would say, Thames calling Granada. And then they would run through ATV, Anglia, Grampian, Scottish, Border, UTV, Ulster, yes, it wasn't UTV, and it was Ulster Television. And everything was um, synchronized to the second Martin. They were very, 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 very skilled people, the program controllers and the uh -huh. transmission controllers. And everything was synchronized. So you opened the station up. All ITV stations opened at 9.25.00 seconds. And then they would close at different times. <clears throat> and they shut down for the evening, used to have a closed down announcement. I used to make it. Uh -huh. And uh, once they started selling Take the High Road, because people started to shorten it themselves. They say, oh, did you watch the High Road the other night? Uh -huh. So it's interesting. So they just must have decided, if we're going to send it round the network, we'll just call it the High Road. Because it's a, it's a nice title, but obviously Take the High Road is from Loch Lomond, the song. And mm -hmm. it's all set in Luss, in Loch Lomond. <laughs> so it's a brilliant title, Take the High Road. And I knew a lady who was a, a media academic, and uh, she did her doctorate in Take the High Road. Mm -hmm. Yes, she actually had doctorate. She was a doctor, and she did studied Take the High Road. Mm -hmm. So it was it was a wonderful thing. And I went to see the producer to ask him for a part. And he saw me, which was wonderful of him, and was very, very complimentary. But I didn't get a part, of course. I went another route. Mm -hmm. But he was very nice, very distinguished man. Uh, you know, his name was spelt Mahoney, but he was called Mahoney. Mm -hmm. There we are, Brian Mahoney, marvellous man. And, uh, and he used to wear, like, an Inverness cape. Now, you know, like Sherlock Holmes. <laughs> so, so there we are. So that's the background to it, Martin. And it was a great hit when it came on. Yeah, uh-huh. See the um, tune from two... Why did it stop in 2003? Is it because they ran out of episodes or is it because they ran out of business and all that? No, I think probably new people were coming into the company and said, I think we'll change. You see, when new people arrive, they like to change things. Uh -huh. Whereas I'm a great believer, if something's doing well, leave it alone. See, that's why Scotty McClue was taken off Scott FM. I mean, I went to, to other places, but it was so successful, new people came in and changed it. And it was a disaster. Yeah. You know, and that's that's the thing because the old managing director said, "If it ain't broke, you don't fix it." <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. Plus, um, um, plus when I watched as well, um, I know neither ninety ninety four ninety five. The tune, the, the titles are on for about three minutes. The tune lasts for about because the start gets the very very first one. It gets shorter as time go, goes on. It gets longer. Yes, well, very interesting. Maybe just to signify what was going on, and it gives you a bit of flexibility at the start. And maybe they wanted to show more of the country. Have you noticed there's some wonderful, wonderful pictures of Scotland? 
Uh-huh. And they maybe wanted to show people a bit more of some of the scenery because the scenery round Loch Lomond is outstanding. Uh-huh. I don't yeah. know. I don't know. I mean, I'm I'm only saying that I don't know for sure because I wasn't part of it and I wasn't at the management meetings. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know, but it was yeah. great. But STV was run by wonderful, wonderful people. You had a chap called. Sir William Brown, he was, latterly, mm-hmm. and he was known as Bill, and he was the managing director from 1966. Mm-hmm. And the deputy chairman um, at the end, he sadly died quite young. I, I think he might just have been, if he made 70, but he was a lovely, lovely person and uh, wonderful. And, I mean, no side to him. If he saw you around the building, he'd have a chat. And or acknowledge you, give you a nod, you know. And we always called him Mr. Brown. I knew him as Bill because he was a personal friend. But we always called him Mr. Brown in the building. And his um, head of administration was Lewis Hind. And Lewis Mm -hmm. was a very, very, very top accountant and company secretary and all these things. And the two of them ran STV superbly and took it from a struggling start into a multi-million pound company. Mm-hmm. You know? Marvellous. Along with Roy Thompson, and Roy Thompson was Lord Thompson of Fleet, and he started Scottish television. Mm-hmm. But people in their wisdom thought he was getting too powerful at too many shares and decided to cut his funding. Another mistake yeah. You know, people make mistakes. They don't say, leave it alone. It's fantastic. And he was the one that said that an independent commercial television franchise was a license to print money. <laughs> yeah. And I remember Bill saying, yes, I wish he hadn't said that because it's not true now, you know. <laughs> but, uh, but, but you see, take the high road. Filming take the high road would have cost a lot of money. So they might have decided to cut the budgets, you know. Plus, STV did fantastic things like Taggart. Do you remember Uh, Taggart? Yeah, uh uh-huh. Well, that was STV as well, you see. They made great programs, Uh you know, which was very ambitious for not the biggest company on the network serving central Scotland, you know. Uh And they made another one called Garnock Way, a soap opera. Garnock uh-huh. Way, you know, so that was uh, that was a good one as well. And I think, I think there was even another one. I'd, I'd need to think back, Martin. You've got me live, you know, streaming live on the hop here. I'm having uh-huh. to 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 just try and recall things off the top of my head. Yeah, you know. There's a lot. Of, there's a lot I remember as well. Um, Oh, that's it, Garnet Way. There was, sorry to interrupt, Martin, there was high living uh-huh. about life up a high rise in Glasgow. Uh-huh. You know, high living. Mm-hmm. And then there was Garnet Way and, and Take the High Road, Taggart. Lots and lots of programs. Wonderful company. Cool, cool. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, wonderful company. Huge, huge new building. They started off in the old Theatre Royal. Uh-huh. You know, and then a huge new building at the Cow Caddens there, which I think has been, it has, it's been demolished. Has it? Yeah, it's gone now, and that's uh-huh. where that's where they were. And STV now, Scottish television, is in at Pacific Quay, beside the BBC. I know, I am always go past in the bus quite a lot as and well. And you'll see it, yeah. Yeah, that's where they are now, but the Cow Caddens was tremendous. It was a huge place. I can remember we had our own painters and they went round the building painting everything. Everything was immaculate. When you, mm-hmm. you went into reception, beautiful uh, uh, reception uh, guards turned out with their peak hats and everything. Cool. Uh-huh. And yeah. welcomed you and all the glass just gleamed. So when you went into STV, you thought, wow, this is some place. Mm-hmm. You know? And they had their own car to collect guests from the airport uh, with STV1 on the number. Mm -hmm. 
A big powder blue Daimler. It was a gorgeous thing. Ha <laughs> ha! Yes, <laughs> yeah. Um, how often do you like upload? Like, see when's best calls. How often do you normally upload and like? Oh, it just calls? depends, Martin. You see, it's actually quite time-consuming. Uh -huh. uh, you know, and as you know, I, I, I'm very, very busy uh, most days. Uh, I don't really get the time. Um, but I do have some staff and, uh, uh, you know, they, they, they can help out as well. But uh, it just depends if you get an outstanding call. Like I think we've uploaded your good self a, a few times, you know. Uh -huh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Do you um, do you think this call's been good regarding the tape all all the tape highway history? Yeah? Do, sorry, what was that, Martin? Do you think do you, do you think this call's been good because it's, it's basically on take the high road? Yes, well? yes, yes. If we get uh, if I get a moment or two, I'll I'll maybe uh, see if we can upload this one if you like it. Yeah, yes, I do. And that that will put you in the spotlight there. People will go that Martin's yeah. an amazing yeah. call. Uh, so can you, um, so can you, so can you, can you do that for me, please? Well, we'll look at that and see what's what. I'll have a wee listen. Uh huh. So yeah. there you are. There we, Mrs. Women, says I've got to leave you, dear. Love you and leave you. Have a wonderful day. And mm -hmm. uh, here, what about this one? This is lovely. Here's Alistair. Mary Poppins wouldn't even go out today. It's giving it the big waft, and it's raining. There we are. There's an idiot. Let's dump this idiot called Shush. Shush says he saw me at a supermarket. So he's kind of the wee kind of troll that we don't want, Martin. So they go down the Swanee. They get a lifetime so, ban. What time did you open up the phone lines today? You. Me? Yes. I because um, Barra, um, that boy Barra was on before. The boy from Barra was saying, could you take a call? Could you take a call a couple of times? And I thought, I'll take a call. And uh, and then I saw you calling as well. I did, good. So there you are. Do you think it's good to open up the phone lines? Yes, it is. To give, to, to give people a chance in case they don't get on tonight, they can give them a chance for the day. Yes, absolutely. There we are. There's a lovely thing from FaZe. What a happy, genuine guy you are, Scotty. Isn't that lovely? Yeah, yeah it's really, really nice. That's why the English wanted it so badly. Uh, there's Taggart, there's been a murder, Emmerdale, Vera, Vera was good morning, Scotty, look forward to this evening, say hello to David for me, says Chris, yes I will, how do I call in, uh, you should get it on the YouTube channel, but call us in tonight, who needs Saturday Night TV when you've got Scotty, absolutely, yeah. and there's Vegan Living, and I, I uh, was asked why don't I just become a vegan, but I said that I wanted to save the planet because I believe vegans produce a bit more methane. Yes. Yes. We'll not go into all that, Martin. But listen, I'd better dash, but it's been lovely to hear you as always. And uh, yes. we'll have a catch up, maybe catch you tonight. Yes, perhaps. And um, plus, as well, the thing with the bill as well, the bill's set in a. Uh, see, 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 see when you actually notice in the bill. Yes. When you want to see his back, all the cast are all actors, but all the other ones are all part of that, all part of that station. But that station exists in real life, but real police officers in there. Oh wow! How very interesting, amazing. Yeah. Martin, you're a mine of information. Many I blessings to you. Okay. Love you, Scotty. Love you lot, Stinky do. Thank you. Thank you, um, thank you, Dr. Solomon. Love you, bye. Bye, Martin. Dinky doo There we are. That's very good. Good callers, Aaron Martin, actually. It's the cows that produce the methane, Scotty. No, I know that, vegan, but I think with a lot of things that vegan people eat, they produce a fair bit as well. Dinky doo says, Faze. Faze, how lovely to have you with us. And a big dinky doo to you as well. What a super morning this has been. Listen, it's time I wasn't here. I'm going to have to dash. But it's been lovely, lovely being with you. Follow us, please, on the TikTok. Have a look at all the wonderful TikTok videos because they're really good. I've made them specially for you. You'll get a smile. There we are. What have we got here? Morning, Scotty. Good morning. How are you? From Rabin Camber's Lang. Put the number up, Scotty, says Vicky. Um, yes, I don't have that facility, Vicky. 
when uh, I'm just on the YouTube at the moment and the TikTok. Fantastic. Dinky do, everybody. Right. Uh, will you have a beautiful morning? Uh, who will buy this beautiful morning and put it in a box for me? Uh, you can tell us tonight what that is actually from. To every single one of you beautiful people watching right now, whether YouTube or TikTok, get following and get subscribing on the YouTube channel. Even a couple of you, click subscribe, and then you'll get your notifications. Tap the bell. You'll get your notifications for the internet phone in 9 o'clock on Saturday evenings. To every single one of you, have a gorgeous day. This is Scotty McClue saying dinky-doo to every one of you. Ta-ra, lads.